Hey there everybody and thank you for tuning back into the channel. This is my new series called Tan Cats. It's where I bring on some of the biggest names in YouTube and media um, and sort of pick their brain as to you know how they got to where they're at and where do they plan on going from here. Um, today's guest, you guys, is no exception to that. This guy is massive, he's huge. Um, all of you know who he is and those of you that don't know who he is, get off the channel, don't even watch this video. Um, just leave. Um, this guy is huge. He's done so much for the community. Um, so, so much um, money has, and time has, has been used by this guy. And I don't think he's going to stop anytime soon. Um, everybody, please give a warm welcome to our friend, Mr. Beast. Thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for having me on. I'm excited to be here, man. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to, just want to say, man, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on here. I know, you know, your schedule is, it's got to be, you know, crazy. Um, I, and for you to come here into my home and do this, um, it really means a lot to me. So I just want to give you a big warm thanks and uh, just kind of like a hug from right here. Um, thank you so much. Oh man, the pleasure is mine, man. I am so happy to be here. Um, I love meeting with uh, new content creators um, and up and coming content creators. It's something I love to do. I love meeting new people and uh, you're no exception to that. You are, you know, your channel's growing fast and you're gonna be the uh, the next one that makes it big. So I'm super happy and I am super humbled to be here with you. Awesome, man, thank you. <laughs> um, so sort of to kick things off here, um, I kind of wanted to dig into uh, your name. Um, uh, it, it's such a big name, everybody knows it. Um, I just wanted to know, you know, what are the origins of your name? Uh, where did it come from? Where did that idea come from? Was there any um, influencers or other YouTubers or content creators that you may have like um, been inspired by and kind of came up with your name, um, you know, uh, because of somebody else's name or something like that? Um, just sort of, you know, I want to know where did the name Mr. Beast even come from? Uh, <laughs> I get asked that a lot. Uh, the name actually, it started with, I used to do live streams on YouTube and my YouTube name that was just randomly generated was Mr. Beast, you know, 0512, something funny like that. And I was like, well, if I'm just gonna delete all the numbers and just make it Mr. Beast. So I think I went through a few other name changes, but uh, Mr. Beast is what I landed on in the end. And uh, yeah, I never took any inspiration from any content creators. It was just something sort of, you know, unique to me and my channel. And uh, I've stuck with it ever since, man, yeah. Okay. Um, so I wanted to ask you, um, so I saw just very recently, or I don't know when it was exactly, um, you had an interview, you were on a, an, uh, um, you were doing um, an interview with, I think his name was Mark Schultz, um, you're on his podcast, and you were talking about uh, the YouTube algorithm and how you've mastered it, you've kind of figured out how it works, the ins and outs of it. Um, and I saw there was one thing in particular you brought up was uh, urinating on a video. Uh, you said it hurts um, retention, the video retention, um, and can hurt the viewership. Um, I just wanted to touch on this because actually one of my most successful videos I posted, and all my fans out there, you guys know what video I'm talking about. Um, I actually have a clip in there where I'm just urinating, and um, it hadn't seemed to hurt my, my viewership at all. Um, and I just want to see, you know, where did you get this information? Because I'm just not seeing it being reflected onto my video and what I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so really what it is, it's super simple. It, nobody wants to watch anybody urinate or do a number two. Um, it's gross. It turns people away. Um, so I think just naturally, if you do that in your videos, you're going to get more people that click off because it's just not something people want to see. Um, but, you know, this may really just be determined by the kind of viewers you have. Um, I just know most of my younger viewers and people like that um, just wouldn't like to see that. Um, and I've just seen, seen statistically that it's just not going to uh, please people. They're not going to want to see that. Um, but your viewers, you know, you may have a different kind of viewership and um, your niche that you're in um, may, you know, accept that. You may have different kinds of viewers. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I do. My viewers are the best. Um, they're the best in the biz. Love you guys. You guys are great. Um, uh, so my next uh, question um, was the... Uh, um, um, did you... Uh, 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 pizza or the... Um,
Uh, you all right, man? I'm just, hold I need a minute. Just give me a minute. I'm nervous. Never had a big name like this on here. Just, I need a second, please. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, all right, um, so uh, your name's Jimmy. Um, have you ever thought about maybe changing your name um, legally to Mr. Beast? Um, I'm sure when you, when you go to a bar or somebody is um, needing an ID request, they may get confused seeing that your name comes up as Jimmy, but uh, they, know, they know he's Mr. Beast. Um, are you gonna change your name to Mr. Beast legally? I think that'd kind of be fun and uh, it'd be sort of a cool thing to do. Uh, <laughs> that's actually that's actually not the first time I've been asked that question. Um, no, I don't think legally I can do that. It's not allowed. I guess it needs to be a legitimate name. And I guess Mr. Beast doesn't pass as a legitimate name. Most people don't know my age. Um, but there's actually a funny story. Um, there was one time I was down in San Clemente, California, with some of my buddies who were filming a project. Lunch. And I, then we, hold on, I gotta we gotta do this. I gotta do mine. Um, hey guys, just real quick, we will be right back. Um, here's a quick word from our buddy Dunk over at Cool Fit Apparel. Check it out. Hey guys, it's your boy Dunk over here at Cool Fit Apparel. Um, just wanted to let you guys know about our Black, black, uh, our, our black Friday sales going on right now. Um, for every five dollars, for every one hundred and fifty dollars spent, you get five dollars off. Uh, we've got tank tops, we've got shorts, we've got briefs, we've got socks, we've got shoes, we've got hats, we've got uh, we've got everything you guys need over there. Cool fit apparel. Um, like I said, man, for Black Friday we're doing five dollars off for every hundred and fifty dollars spent. You're not gonna find a deal like this anywhere else um, on this Black uh, weekend. Um, Visit us at coolfitapparel.com uh, and uh, pick up some clothes for you and your little friends today. Now, let's get back to the video. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am here with Mr. Jimmy Beast. Um, to get back to the interview here, um, you know, you've done so much for the community. You've done so much good. Um, you, every video you put up, I mean, you've brought people to tears. You have made people's lives. You've improved people's lives. Um, you're just an all around, you're a great guy. I mean, everybody loves you, man. And you're, you're obviously doing something right. Um, what is your secret? I mean, where does all this love come from? And, um, you know, where would you like to continue going with this one day? You know, how, how do you wake up every day and decide, you know, I'm just gonna be a good guy and I'm gonna take care of the people of the world. Um, maybe just sort of walk me through how your brain works here. Yeah, uh, really it just comes down to, um, you know, I feel the best when I'm helping other people. There's a lot of people out there in need that need help. Um, and, you know, I just feel fulfilled and it just, you know, making money and doing things like that, making videos, it's all great. I can't say it's not great. Statistically, it's great. It makes people happier. Um, but sustainable happiness, for me at least, really just comes with helping people that are in need and uh, just being a good person. Um, and that's how I want to be. I want to be like that until I die. I want to be like that, you know, until my last day, making content like this. And, you know, um, when I die, I just want all my money to go to everybody and for it to just blow up and everybody gets everything and all my money. And, you know, I just want the world to be a better place, man. And uh, I think doing this every day in every video, um, it's going to get better and better. So. That's awesome, man. Hey, I, I want to be like you when I grow up one day. <laughs> no, man. Um, so. I actually, um, I really do. This has been awesome having you here. This is amazing. Oh yeah, me too, man. I've enjoyed it. It's been nice. Yeah, it's been really nice. I've enjoyed myself today. You know, this has really been a dream come true. This is this is really gonna help my channel grow, um, and I hope to one day be at the level that you're at, so I can also help people. Um, so, man, I just want to hit you with one more question. Um, I'm actually like really, really nervous to ask you this one. Um, um, I. I guess I'll, so here's like a little backstory. I'm gonna get a little choked up over it because it's not easy to talk about. That's all right, it's all right.
my wife and I just recently, we bought a home and, uh, you know, um, things aren't doing good. Things aren't going well here. Um, uh, we haven't been able to make payments. Um, we're eating rice and beans. Um, we are, we are completely broke. I have been threatened with bankruptcy. Um, my wife is threatening to leave me. And I'm just, I'm at, I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what to do. And I just, Mr. Beast, I, will you pay off my mortgage? Uh, uh, I mean, I, I can't, I can't do that. I, I mean, I came on here to, to do a, a podcast with you. I can't just pay off your mortgage. I mean, my margins are super thin. I, I, I can't just give you that money to do that. I'm sorry. I can give you a gas card. You know, I can maybe give you a nice gas card, but I can't do that. I can't pay off your mortgage. Please, please. No, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I don't think you understand. My margins are super tight and super thin. I can't just give you that money. I'm sorry, it's just, I can't do that. Get out. Get out! Get the fuck out. There you have it, everybody. Um, there are his true colors. I knew I'd get him out one way or another. Um, he is a fraud. He is full of it. He's full of shit. Um, he, I am, I am disgusted to have had him here in my home. Um, he will never come on this podcast again. You mark my words out there. Um, he can, for all I care that he can get on, get in his beast mobile and take off and don't ever look back. Don't ever come back to my place. Um, fraud. And now I have it all on record. Everybody's seen it. And all of you great people out there now can and can see with your own eyes what he's really about. So um, I guess that's going to bring our first episode of Tancast to an end here, guys. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in today. Um, you know, I'm going to try to get one of these out, you know, every week, every week and a half. Um, we still have Tanner's Brew Review coming up um, every weekend, uh, Saturday nights. Um, so be ready for that. Um, that is coming up um, here in the next few days, actually. So uh, stay tuned for that, you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Tanner's Tancast. Thank you.